largely original car, just kind of a speed on car. And then the Ford, is, the Ford is being a bit of a see you next Tuesday these days. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? What is she the doing? teapot carburetor is buried in the ditch, and that's the damage on the passenger side. Really? Yeah. All right. Oh. So if it didn't have that, I would leave it. But as it is, I've got to go well, through it. Well, you've got the story. You've got to keep the story. And Well, the story has come to me from people in Oklahoma City that knew the car. That I posted pictures of the car, and a friend of mine in Oklahoma City said, are there holes above the windshield for a visor? I have the full download on the car. It's actually, it's actually just a single girl. You know, it's this amazing car. It's like this whole lot. Woo! We zoomed through 1969. Woo! And these are kind of the glamour buckets of the Great American Road. So, of course, you have to have an Avanti in Palm Springs. Wow. What a tiny road. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's left behind you is absolutely not a consideration. I never noticed that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so tiny. <laughs> no, we don't have 58. He hates 58. He was brought home from the hospital in a 58. You can never forget it or something. <laughs> no, that was me. Um, his father had only had family stories. Our only 58s are the Edsel and the Studebaker. <laughs> and the Edsel, it turned out, oh, the Sotos? was sitting in a garage in San Jose for 30 years, accumulating dust. And when we pulled the car out, the guy who got it from never even put it in his name, and we still tied to Henry Oh, wow. That's a story. Yeah, myself have a 59 story. So we haven't, we haven't gone through it yet. But it turns over, so we'll make it right. What did you do? You said the Truman Gallery. I think you said the. The tuna gallery. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, uh. Someone needs a summer's eve. <laughs> oh, dear. Leave it to Andre Somebody for the quality. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Obviously, you can't have that because you've got to have a flat load oh, floor okay. so you can slide in all of your camping gear and your goats. So, you have to relocate the spare tire. The rear seat does fold down. And they've done this clever little. It's got a little wood bridge that you put down so you can slide things in and out easily. You take it out before you close it out easily. Where would the wood bridge be put? Just anyway. you lay it in the back. Lay it in the back. You lay it in the back. Rolls around. How many of these for me? Oh, a very small number. But the crazy part is they. Now this is this is a bag of which is, It's made out of a kinds of doors. Okay, it's the high trim one. They they sold a lot of the base one because it's 1949. The, everyone in the industry has a new model, Kaiser doesn't, so they brought out this and they pushed it. And they, they convinced Mr. and Mrs. America that they needed a camping car. And there it is. And it's actually kind of fun. Kaiser was really good at doing crazy little stuff like the Dragon. Yes. Very nice. Woo! As it comes down, you can do sequentially the <laughs> lug nuts. <laughs> Let's see. It's left thread on this side, but not on that side. Like Chrysler's and Rolls Royce's and old Cadillacs. And Nash. Good old Nash. Yep. I love 1949 because 1949 is the year that everybody starts to go in their own direction with their new post war designs. So General Motors has the beautiful fast guy view it, and the Cadillac Tour are hard to have. That's the first coupe to go. This is the Nash. It's got a one piece curved windshield. It's got a unitized body. It's got the Unisphere, which, which is an instrumentation pod mounted on the steering column that will kill you in even the most moderate of impacts. <laughs> just, just in case you survive that, the ignition key is mounted right below it to rip your throat out. <laughs> But, and then you, you know, at the auto show, you look at this and you go, then you walk next to the Oldsmobile and the guy lights up a Marlboro and says, Yeah, but we got a fucking engine. Because um, Oldsmobile had an engine. So it's a wonderful time when everybody's starting to find their own, you know, niche. So what's the 600? Uh, it's a, it, this is the, there was a 600 and there was an ambassador. So this is the, actually the lower price. It's a full unitized construction. Yeah, there's some issues. And it just it just has in order because they wanted the skirted front fenders, the wheels can't turn. So the track had to be narrowed. So it's actually got a narrow front tracks in the rear. 
<laughs> wow, the tricycle variant. <laughs> yes, like a tricycle. Yeah. But it's so new every day. low mileage, all original, what you might call a barn find. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the textiles are original. And if you look at them, it's really interesting because they have the upper door sill is grain with paint to match the vinyl. It's the same pattern. Incredible. So, oh, wow. That is cool. There was a woman involved. Her name was Aline Rather. So does the dash. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It matches the vinyl. That's pretty cool. I love this because it's cosmetic and this is all Tiffany Silver, Jesse Mary Hobbs, Hobbs Supply Company of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, wealthiest family in town. Civic Center name for her, sports arena name for her. You get the idea. She never drove the car. Hence, her monogram is on the back of the car with Schaefer. Mm -hmm. Wow. Schaefer was not allowed to rest his arm on the door sill because it's still perfect after 70 years. You know what? Notice the decals on the dash demonstrating your easematic power brakes and how to use your ignition. <laughs> A 70 year old piece of paper. Mm -hmm. The car was cosmetically all over. And I love that. So that was very It is a first year Hemi. It is a first year power steering. It is a second year power brake, and of course it's fluid drive. But this was, they targeted this car aggressively towards women that they could control it. That power steering reduces the steering effort by 80%, so even this little young lady can, can steer this Imperial limousine. I mean, they marketed the hell of these two. And it's, it's actually nicely done, I mean like, the broadcloth fabric has the color of the paint and the color of the top. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the top's green. It was nicely. It was nicely trimmed. You know, they, yeah, kind of a green. Now, how many speed transmission? Two, two speed. Well, actually, it's two gear sets, so it's actually four speed. Okay. You've got high and low, and you've got high and low within each. Okay. But it's automatic, but it would just. It's semi-automatic. Oh, okay. You will to, to, clutchless automatic. Not fully. Not fully. You need a clutch, clutch to low, or clutch to high. You can start in high. Once it's in high, you only need the clutch to put it in reverse. Oh, that's so okay. in a stoplight, you don't need the clutch. You just touch it. Just start in high and it's not right. pick up but it's right. yep. Or start in low, you clutch it to high, and then again. Within the gear sets, you don't use a clutch. That's amazing. And it's first year heavy, and it's been restored twice. Oh, that because the first time he wasn't satisfied, so he sent it back <laughs> to someone else. But well, this would be the factory wheel, or is that a That's a factory wheel. That's a factory wheel. But that's the factory. Yes, that's a factory accessory. Oh my gosh! Beautiful. Imperial was a yeah, very special car. Mm -hmm. It was her first car. It was her first new car, and it was the only car she ever owned. And she owned it for about four years. And because she was a nun, she mended stuff. So you look around and there's little places where it's been mended. Oh, oh, so yeah. But not too confused. Oh, yeah. Clang. Clang. This is the generation before. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is what the sucks. It's got that wonderful bench seat interior that's basically like two pieces of plywood with a little upholstery. <laughs> As opposed to the deluxe Buick. Actually, the limited is quite nice. The Aries. And the customer about the same. Wow. The limited is nicer. That was a school teacher in the northwest corner of Indiana, right at the Michigan border. School teacher. She was like eighty. She was like eighty years old. Never drove. She got the saucy red. I mean, the car set. These, these are all super low mileage. I think that one's twenty three. That one's twenty four. And that one's twenty two. And the Skyhawk's about eighteen. Ah, uh, the Skyhawk. Uh, yes. What's the wagon? Yeah, the concealed headlamp wagon. So. Wow. Yeah. We got a little carried away and bring a trailer. Um, That's pretty <laughs> it happens. A little. Was that from Wisconsin? Yes. Yeah, that, that like racist guy up there. Yeah. Mm. He's kind of creepy. Ooh. Uh, same as Colin. 